today I'm going to show you guys how to tell the time. So here I have a clock, and the main thing you need to know to tell time is you need to know if you're counting five. So let's freak off. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And that's all you need to know because in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And another important thing that you need to know is the two hands. So the small one is the hour hand and the big one is the minute hand. And in some clocks, uh, there's a bigger hand, and it's for the seconds hand. Uh, but I don't have the seconds hand in my clock, so let's get into it. Now I set up a little time over here, and let's start telling the time. So now the hour hand is in three, so that means uh, the hour is just three. And if you see the minute hand was in six, so let's keep count to six. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. So we get 30. So 3 and 30. So the time would be 3.30. Now, if I put the minute hand over here, the hour is the same, so 3. And then uh, the, if it's in this dash that's smaller than the bigger ones, here's how you found it out. So we skip count to the nearest 5, which is 6. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And then we add 31, 32, 33. So the time now would be 3.33. Now I could put the time in 4, put the minute hand in 12. Well, the time would actually be 4 o'clock exactly. Because in, in one hour, there's 60 minutes. And if we count, um, if we skip count, it would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. So we have one hour. So the time would be 4 o'clock. Now, if I put the hour hand in 12 and the minute hand also in 12, time would still be 12 o'clock because the hour hand is in 12 and the minute hand is also in 12. And you guys might be wondering, what, what is written in this little box thingies? Well, those are the numbers written in German. I hope you guys learned how to tell time. And if this video was useful for you guys, make sure that you always share, like, and subscribe. Bye!